recent BBC interview by some say a much admired celebrated interviewer resulted in our British Prime Minister having to explain exactly why he can't discuss royal finances. But how? Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Hope you're keeping well. Thank you for joining me today. This particular story does centre once again, sadly, on, of course, the demise of His Royal Highness, the Duke of York, Prince Andrew. And this all really is going around, as one can imagine, in these difficult times for Her Majesty the Queen, about exactly what money and where is it coming from? Is it coming out of the public purse? Which, of course, would mean that we would be paying as taxpayers for the payment to the claimant for Prince Andrew. Hope you've got all of that. As we've told you here on the show before, that simply isn't the case. And of course, as we've also pointed out, the royal family do have their own private money. However, this particular interviewer, Sophie Rayworth, who is part of the BBC organisation, kept pressing with an interview with the Right Honourable Boris Johnson, our British Prime Minister, about exactly whether there would be public funds to pay this particular fee. As he explained rather diligently on a number of occasions to the struggling Miss Rayworth, it didn't really sink in. Now, the bigger problem that you've got, as I've often said here with the BBCs, they're far too woke and they want to make a story out of a non-story. As the Prime Minister pointed out that he simply could not discuss any personal monetary matters about the British monarchy. That's their own private money. And let's just reiterate this point to the BBC that as a private citizen and not a member now of the British monarchy, where the money comes from remains within the family. Whoever decides to pay it, perhaps it comes from the personal wealth of His Royal Highness Prince Charles, maybe even Princess Anne, but that's simply not our business. It's interesting to note also with this particular story that the interviewer herself is paid by public funds. For being an interviewer and reading the news on occasions on the BBC News channel, Miss Rayworth is paid over £250,000 a year from the public tax known as the licence fee payment. Now, the BBC don't really like to talk about their own mistakes, but we like to highlight one themselves that they fail to bring up in any breaking news story or indeed on any of their many websites for their 20,000 plus employees out at BBC HQ. Recently, the BBC were fined £28,000 for broadcasting part of a court case, not once, but twice. Can you imagine? Now, this particular payment, as I say, comes directly out of the public purse because, once again, the organisation is funded by public money, by the licence fee payers. And that's really the reason why so many people have now decided, because it's obviously struggling to be well managed, that they don't want to continue to pay the licence fee. But this goes back to Prince Andrew, because obviously the Right Honourable Boris Johnson simply could have just reiterated, well, look at the way that you're dealing with the finances of the public here. But of course, it didn't truly sink in with Miss Rayworth. So, for the final time, I will explain to the BBC and the interviewer that there are simply no public funds being used to pay off that particular court case from the former royal known as Prince Andrew, the Duke of York. That will be coming from private money. And that, as ever, is from very good assurances from within close palace sources. And... If you're in any doubt exactly how the BBC do spend your money, do keep an eye on it simply because £28,000 was just dismissed as a simple mistake. Not once, but twice. Do think about that next time your licence fee demand comes through the letterbox. Neil Sean, in the very heart of London.